eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. What's going on, family? Back with the workout for you all. Uh, chest and back workout with my boy Kevin. Uh, met Kevin a few months ago, and he's been subscribed to the channel for about two years. So he wanted to come by and check out the gym. So that's what we did. And uh, started out the workout with some body weight pull ups. So about four sets of 10 to 12 reps, really trying to bring up the width of the back. So that's what I've been starting with recently. And I'm going to be coming in and out of this video with the commentary. So uh, just kind of sporadically, and then let you guys watch some raw footage and just kind of mix it up. But stay tuned, and I'll talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Exercise number two, we're doing incline bench press with the new incline over here. So um, we set it up fairly low, so this is probably the second notch. Now the reason we're not setting up higher, you hold the camera real quick. As you go higher, guys, let me show you. This, what is this? This is a military press, correct? Yeah. Military press. So when the angle is up here, 90 degrees, a lot of shoulder, as you bring it down, so, for example, when you're flat, mid-chest, in order to get that incline, you can always try going about here. That's a lot of shoulder involvement still. So the lower you're going, as you think of it as the less shoulder, the more shoulder you're taking out of it. So personally, right here is absolutely perfect, guys. So don't knock it until you try it. Try that uh, steady incline, and that's almost like the sweet spot. And some people even prefer one notch lower. So that's one hole, that's a very slight incline, but it almost allows for more chest activation, no shoulder activation. So today we're gonna go right here, flatten that out, here we go. Warm up, whenever I'm warming up for chest, I like to do some rotator cuff with dumbbells, and also incorporate about a few sets of just 10 to 20 reps with just the bar, guys. Get the motion down. We got the bar, tuck in. So for the incline bench press, we did a reverse pyramid solid training, meaning we warmed up for about four sets and then did four working sets. On the very first working set, you want to go heavy, about four to six reps. Uh, and on the second set, you want to drop the weight down and do about anywhere from eight reps, about you know six to eight reps. And on the third set, about 10 to 12 reps. And on the fourth set, about 12 to 15 reps. So that's what a reverse pyramid is when you uh, start out on a heavy weight and then drop the weight down and increase the reps as the sets go on. So be sure to try that out if you haven't. And uh, yeah, of course, did about four to five warm-up sets, a few sets with the bar, and then a few sets gradually increasing the weight. Guys, pull through the elbow. Focus on bringing your elbow back. Squeeze the lat. So whatever side you start with, Say so on set number one, you start the right arm. Be sure on set number two, start the left arm. Because after, after you do one, unless you want to take like a minute in between, which is okay, you might feel a little bit tired. So be sure you're rotating where you start. We were just talking guys, you know, people accusing Kevin of taking steroids to cut down when they see some definition and no matter what you do guys, the harder you work, the harder people are going to work to bring you down and uh, that's just a little life lesson you're learning along the way and I just thought we would share that with you guys. So about to knock out some uh, flat dumbbell bench press. For exercise number four, we did the flat dumbbell bench press and usually on my chest days, I like to do two pressing movements. So uh, I'll choose one barbell and one dumbbell movement to do. So for today, we did the flat dumbbell bench press, obviously, and uh, did five working sets. So here are the 100-pound dumbbells, and this is my first set when I felt pretty fresh and strong, so I did eight reps with this. And then for the next four sets, we uh, dropped the weight down accordingly to how we were feeling uh, to kind of stay in that eight to 12 rep range. So I think I dropped down, I think I did, uh, I want to say 80-pound dumbbells for a few sets, and then I dropped it down to 75-pound dumbbells for a few sets. 
And uh, yeah, that was our second pressing movement for the day. There we go. Straight with the lats, pull through the elbow. All right guys, another back exercise we're gonna do a vertical pull down on the lat pull machine. Uh, we've already done a pull up, which is vertical. We've done a row and an isolateral single arm. We've also done a bent over. We're gonna do a ver another vertical. I always like to do two movements for back pulling down. So here we go. We got the close grip, because we did a wide grip over there. So here we go. Can you get a nice straps right now? No straps. Here we go. So to finish off the workout, we did four sets of 10 to 12 reps on the spec deck machine. And yeah, that was it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Kevin, for coming out. And as always, you can hire me as your online personal trainer and check out my apparel on christianusemind.com. The link is in the description box. So thank you, and I will see you guys in the next video. So YouTube, Christian invited me. Had a great fucking time, guys. Good ass workout. If you ain't subscribed already, you better subscribe.